Happy Thanksgiving from the Consensus team. They've just broken the news. They've changed a load of their policies. So if you're a MetaMask user, you're gonna probably have to change your RPC if you're worried about privacy. As the Defiant broke the headline just over the last few hours, Consensus under fire for collecting MetaMask users' wallets and IP addresses. So MetaMask being the most used Ethereum wallets there is, with between 20 and 30 million users by all accounts, they announced just in the last few hours that if you're connected to the RPC by Infura, so Infura is run by Consensus, this RPC will be collecting your personal data. Consensus quoted as saying, when you use Infura as your default RPC provider in MetaMask, Infura will collect your IP address and your Ethereum wallet address when you send a transaction. However, if you use your own Ethereum node or a third-party RPC provider with MetaMask, then neither Infura nor MetaMask will collect your IP address or wallet address. So the main issue is Infura is the as is, the kind of default setting on everyone's MetaMask. So if you don't change it or you don't know how to change it, they're gonna be collecting your data as soon as you do a transaction now. You could use a VPN to obfuscate your actual location, but your wallet address will still be tracked. I'll leave a link to Surfshark VPN down below. It's the one I use and it is dirt cheap. But within this statement from consensus, it's pretty obvious that most people are now going to have their data exposed to the authorities. So this change to their terms of service happened within the last 12 hours. So if you're yet to actually transact on your MetaMask account, well, then you still do have time to connect to a custom RPC, which I'll show you in this video. So it doesn't take much of a conspiracy theory to see between the lines here. So the Fed's plan SBF with FTX, this leads to a huge move towards DeFi and then DeFi regulations come in. Infura and MetaMask team up and the largest RPC provider is Infura. Now these guys start tracking your wallet address and your IP. Is this a coincidence or is it part of a bigger plan? Seems very fishy to me. So changing to a custom RPC for ETH mainnet makes total sense here. If you don't know how to do this, there's a docs page on DeFi Llama, which is pretty handy. Essentially, it is a very simple process. So we'll just go through these steps right now. Where can you find other RPCs? Chainlist.org is a pretty good website here. So you could go on this and select a different RPC. I'm gonna use Anchor, so I'll copy that one. So what we need to do is go to our MetaMask icon and what is easiest is to actually use the expand view that button there from here we're going to go to settings and then from settings we're going to go to networks yours will probably look like this with eth mainnet and then you can see infura.io as the selected rpc so we need to change this note you can't delete which is kind of a bit spicy here we need to click on add a network then add a network manually and then the network name i'm just going to call mine ethereum new rpc you'll probably want to add a few of these from the chainlist website just in case some of these have some lag or something goes wrong with them in the future paste in the address the anchor one that i just took chain id will be one and the symbol will be eth then all you have to do is press save as you can see i've already added anchor here to my eth mainnet 2. so then in your wallet you can see you've got your eth mainnet that'll be the original one and then you can just go to your second one whatever you've called it and that is now the one you want to utilize your ethereum wallet through so from the top you can see eth mainnet that is the infura one the one i do not want to use and then we have eth mainnet 2. so i want to make sure that is connected so if i'm doing any trades on eth mainnet i will now do them all through this rpc that i've called eth mainnet 2 via anchor i hope you found this quick video helpful if you did please like the video comment and share it as well make sure other people do change their rpc endpoints because what is DeFi without any privacy i'll see you guys in the next one peace the wef proposes collecting data from many aspects of people's everyday lives that's a quote through their devices, telecommunication networks, and third-party service providers. It would allow a digital ID to scoop up data on people's online behavior, purchase history, network usage, credit history, biometrics, names, national identity numbers, and medical history. Plus, your travel history, social accounts, e-government accounts, bank accounts, energy uses, health stats, education, and I love this one, and more. What's left? The WEF proposes using it to decide whether users are allowed to, quote, own and use devices, quote, open bank accounts, quote, carry out online financial transactions, quote, conduct business transaction, quote, access insurance and treatment, still quoting, go through border control between countries or regions, 
still quoting, access third-party services that rely on social media logins, file taxes, vote, collect benefits, end quote. 